Hey guys, Josh here from Europarts, and I am very excited about today's project. What we have here is a Mercedes-Benz 722.6 transmission. The 722.6 was Mercedes' first commercially available electronically controlled transmission. Mercedes-Benz put this transmission into just about everything. It's known to be very robust, but it does have a few faults, and we're gonna cover two of those today. The first internal problem with the Mercedes-Benz 722.6 is the TCM plug. This plug has two O-rings, and it separates the case from the wiring harness, keeping fluid from leaking out of the case up the wiring harness and into the TCM. This little guy is the other common failure point for the 722.6. This is a conductor plate. This provides power to the solenoids as well as the transmission speed signal to the TCM. Both of these jobs are serviceable in the vehicle. The conductor plate is located uh, behind the pan cover and the plug is located behind this cover. Step one is to drain the transmission using a five millimeter Allen. Now we're gonna remove the six bolts holding the pan and the two bolts holding the plug cover. With the cover removed, we've got a clear view of the old plug next to the new one. Cleanliness is going to be one of the most important things. It's a good idea to spray down and clean off the edge of the case. These bolts can be different lengths, so it's important to keep track of where they came from. So I'm gonna make a template and put everything down where I found it. Because of the drain plug boss, there's always going to be fluid left over at the bottom of the pan. It's a good idea to save two bolts for last, and once you've disconnected the last two bolts, be very careful as you drop it so that you don't splash fluid. Cleanliness, utmost importance from here on out. To take the plug out of the transmission case, we'll need a deep socket and there's a single nut holding the assembly in. Once you're down to two bolts, make sure you support the valve body because it is heavy. Here is our valve body uh, out of the transmission comparing to our new uh, Mercedes-Benz unit that we're going to be replacing. Uh, we're going to need to remove these covers to get to the solenoids and this is the location for the plug. As we disassemble these pieces, we're going to put them aside in the order we remove them so that we'll remember how to assemble again. Step one, pull the plastic covers off of the solenoids. They just clip into place. Step two, we remove the tabs that hold the solenoids down, putting these clips in the order of removal. Each of the solenoids should lift out. Again, pay careful attention to the order 
in which they are removed. You want to be very careful to replace in the same order. There's going to be a, a clip down in here that holds the valve body in place. We just need to pop that up as we lift. Now we take our fresh clean conductor plate. Click it into place. Now one by one, return the solenoids to their proper locations. Then the retainers. All right, here's our assembled valve body with our new conductor plate. These are our solenoids replaced. This is our float for transmission fluid level. And this is the transmission speed pickup. Now we're gonna place the plastic covers back on and reinstall. All right, I took a moment to wipe down the mating surfaces because it is a metal on metal fit and I wanted to make sure there wasn't any uh, dust or contamination or grit there. Once you have two of these bolts started, they'll carry the weight of the valve body and you can take a breather and pick up the rest of your bolts and suck the whole valve body in. We're going into aluminum, so don't force any of these. Now with all of the bolts in place, we're going to torque this plate down in two steps. First, we're going to lightly hand torque each bolt until it's snug, lightly snug, and then we're going to come back with a torque wrench and tighten each bolt to exactly 72 inch pounds. Okay, that's it. Using a little bit of transmission fluid, lube the O-ring on our new filter, and it comes up and actually sits in a recessed spot on an angle, and it just pops into place. All right, 
Now we're gonna install our new plug. The plug will only fit one way. There are two triangular grooves and one flat groove. Again, we are going to use a small amount of transmission fluid to lube the O-rings on our new plug. So this slides back in, right there. I'm gonna go there, click, panel on. Last step today, we're gonna to put our drain plug back in place with a new copper washer. All right guys, you now have a new conductor plate and a new TCM plug installed in your Mercedes-Benz 722.6 electronically controlled transmission. Uh, this should be ready for a fill and a test drive. Keep in mind that you'll most likely need to bring this back to a Mercedes dealer or a Mercedes specialist to have the TCM computer reset at the end of this process. But all of the installation is done. Thank you for shopping to Europarts and thank you for watching.